Hey Fingsters, Shubham here. In this video, we will be discussing the unbound local error in Python. So, let's discuss the problem and the reason behind the problem. So, let's move on to our programming screen. Now, let's define a variable val which has the value 100. Then we have a function foo. Now, we try to access the variable val and then add 100 to it therefore we are trying to change the value of the variable val and we simply print the value of val finally we need to call our function now let's check if this works and there we go we have an unbound local error so let's understand why we had the unbound local error when a variable is assigned within a function as in this case as you can see that val is within foo however you might also be noticing that val is also a global variable however when it is assigned within the function foo it is treated as a local variable so if a local variable is referenced before a value has been assigned or bound to it an unbound local error is raised. So as you can see in this example when the variable val is read by python interpreter inside the function foo it assumes that the value is a local variable as I said before. However it soon realizes that the local variable has been referenced before any value has been assigned to it within the function. Thus it throws the unbound local error. Simply put, we can only access a global variable inside a function but cannot modify it from within the function. So let me show that to you. In this case, we tried to modify the value of val. However, if we simply try to access the variable, then we can do that. So let's check that out. As you can see, now we can print the value since it's a global variable. But as soon as we try to change the value of val, the function will consider that val is a local variable. And thus, it has not been assigned any value within the local scope. And thus, we get the unbound local error. Now, having said that, let's move on to the solutions of our problem. We will be using the following methods as you can see on the screen to solve our problem. We'll use the global keyword, then we will be using the non-local keyword and then move on to use a mutable object to solve the problem and finally we will use a traditional method of passing parameters to the function to solve our problem. So without further delay let us jump into the solutions one by one. So this was our code. All we need to do here is simply use a global keyword. So we now define global well and then we add the value 100 to the variable well. Any variable created outside a function is global by default while any variable created within the function is local by default. Thus to modify a global variable from within the function and avoid an unbound local error, we use the global keyword. Now let's see if this works for us. Now let's run the code. And there we go. We have our desired output. Now let me discuss another scenario where we get the unbound local error. Now consider that we have this variable inside the function itself. So now I have declared the variable inside the function. However, I have another nested function by the name test and now I want to access the value of val inside this function. So let me comment this out for the moment. Now let's check if this works. I need to call the function we call the function test and this should work for us and there we go we have 100 now yet again we will try to modify the value of 100 in this case 
Now before doing that, let me tell you, this has to do something with a scope known as an enclosing scope. So we have an entire article and video regarding scopes in Python. I'll provide the link to that article in the description below. So as of now, let's focus on this. We are using the variable val which is inside the function foo and then we try to change the value of val. So will this work? Let's check. And we again have an unbound local error. Yet again the reason is same. We are trying to access the value of val which is not within the scope of test. Test considers that val in this case is within its local scope that is within the local scope of test. However, when it tries to change the value of val, it finds that val has not yet been assigned. So we get the unbound local error. So what's the solution to this now? Now this brings us to the second solution using non-local keyword. So instead of using the global keyword, we can simply use the non-local keyword when we have a nested function. So let's check how that works for us. We simply use non-local and well, that's it. This should do it for us. Let's check the output. And there we go. We again have our output. So I hope that was clear to you. Now I want to mention that the scope in this case is neither local nor global. That's why we are using the keyword non-local. Also, if the value of the non-local variable changes, the changes are also reflected in the local variable. So what do I mean by that? Since I change the value within the function test, it will be reflected in the function foo as well. So let me print that out for you and show that to you. Print val. Now as you can see, this print statement is outside the function test and inside the function foo. So let's check the output. As you can see, the value of val has been changed inside foo as well. So that's what I wanted to show. Now let's move on to the next solution using a mutable object. Now what do I mean by that? Instead of using the variable directly, I'll be using a mutable object like a list or a dictionary and then assign the value to the variable. So let me show that to you. Let me clear out the screen and let's do that from the beginning we have our variable val however now we will be using a dictionary by the name d and then use val as a key and then assign the value 100 now we have our function by the name foo we then access the value of val using the dictionary so d and then we use the key val and finally, we will try to change or modify the value of val and add 100 to it. And then we print the value of the key val. So in this case, val is not just a variable, but it's a key that holds a certain value. And since dictionaries are mutable, we can modify the values inside a dictionary. Now let's call the function foo and that's it that's all we need to do now let's check the output ah we have a name error I declared val as a string so I need to use it as a string inside the function as well that's why we had the error now this should work and as you can see, we have the desired output. So that brings us to the next solution, passing parameters to the function. Now this is the traditional solution to our problem that would generally 
come to your mind in the first case so let's discuss that as well instead of using the value directly before that let me make the necessary changes so that I can explain the code yeah so instead of using this value directly we can pass the value to the function foo now how do we do that we have our function foo and then we provide an argument v now when we call the function foo we pass the argument or the variable val to the function foo now when we try to modify the value we can simply add or make the changes using the argument and then simply print the output or if you want you can return the output so let's check if this works for us and as you can see we have the desired output so if let's clear the screen and then check the output once again to be super sure and there we go we have the desired output so that was it for this video I hope you learned something from it please give it a like and subscribe our channel and please stay tuned for more such videos